Hey guys, it's Spence, the evil genius, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with your very own responsive WordPress website in about five minutes or less. Are you ready? Let's jump in. So I'm over here at firstwebdesigner.com, and as I scroll down the right sidebar, I can see that there's a link here for Bluehost, and they are who we recommend for this particular case. Really easy to get started, free domain name, so it's just a great package, and as you'll see, easy enough for anybody to do. Don't be alarmed if you go here and the banner looks a little different because we're always trying to update and improve this a bit. Generally though, we'll make it very clear that it's Bluehost. And when you click on it, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this, where we've got a special welcome WordPress fans landing page. Now from here, getting started is super simple. All we need to do is click on sign up now. And we have a choice here of either using our own domain name, if you've got one, in which case you could type it in this box, or you can go ahead and get a free domain right here at Bluehost. So let's make up a name and use that for this example. And I'm gonna call it something like uh, first, well, we'll call it 1WD Bluehost. How's that? And again, in most cases, you wanna pick a .com domain because there's not a lot of reason to use otherwise unless your choice is not available. I'm gonna click next. It's gonna tell me if it's available and what the next steps are. Now, all I need to do here is to register my personal information. I'll say Spencer Foreman and Trike Lab Enterprises, and our office address here. Real fast in cold Chicago, 60647-312-344-3280. And we'll do help at trikelab.com. Okay, good, now we can choose the plan. And now the package we want is the 12 month price, which is about $5.95 a month. And it gives us this free primary domain registration, which we want. Now, there's a couple options that are checked here that you don't necessarily need, and let me explain them real quick. Site lock domain security is if you're concerned about somebody um, doing nefarious stuff to your domain, in other words, trying to re-register it, etc., etc. we're not concerned about that, and for the most part, I'm imagining you're going to go ahead and have a domain here that's more or less for experimenting and working with us on uh, First Web Designer. So next is the Site Backup Pro. Again, not needed here because you have all the tools you need right in WordPress, as I'll show you in our other videos. And lastly, the Who is Privacy. That maybe you're interested in, don't know. But if you don't want this information here registered with the Who is uh, site so that people can look it up, then obviously take it. It's about a mm, dollar a month, maybe a little less. In this case, I'm not worried about it because I'm a public guy here, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Now we can pay, we can use credit card, or we can click more payment options and use PayPal. And depending on your country, that either choice will work or both. And make sure you've got the I confirm I've read the terms of service, etc. And then we can go ahead and pay in PayPal. And in this case, our total is 71 bucks. And I hope you don't mind, I've kind of hidden here my PayPal information. Once we go ahead and log in and pay, we can say agree. And a couple things are gonna happen. Once we made the payment, first of all, we'll get a receipt for the total amount, and then it'll be taking us to a page in the meantime where they're going to try to give us some other optional things that you could buy, but again, we don't really need them here, okay? So all we need to do is hit the blue complete button. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead and create our initial password, and that's easy enough. Click on the blue link, and here we're able to create something that's memorable but has to follow these requirements here. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. It's got to have an uppercase letter, one number, one symbol, one lowercase letter, and at least eight characters. Now, I could type one in, or I could do something fun. You see the link here where it says try our password generator? That's actually the easiest way. So here you could just go ahead and copy the password that it generates and paste it in place. Paste it again, and now I'm gonna do also an extra thing. I'm gonna save this on the side in a text editor just in case I need it for a minute. Okay, now I can close the generator, and I can go ahead and create my own verification pin. It has to be six digits. I'm gonna keep it simple for this video, but you should do whatever number you'll remember. I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. and they have to match, so let me make sure I typed it right. Okay, and now I can submit. 
And at this case, uh, I'm ready to log in. By the way, in the meantime, another email will arrive and it will look something like this. And this confirms our account setup as well as the domain information that we purchased and information on how we can set up the FTP, which is your file transfer protocol. And that's something that I'll show you later is how you'll be able to actually work with your WordPress site files directly from your desktop, uh, in addition to using the web browser. But for right now, let's just go ahead and use that password that we just created and log into our new site so we can set up WordPress. Once you're inside, this ad comes up and you can go directly to your cPanel on the left or you can click this little link at the bottom that says, no thanks, take me to the cPanel. Fantastic, now we're at the exciting part. We can close this additional ad and now we're gonna go directly to our simple scripts link where we can install WordPress. Okay, once inside of simple scripts, we can click on WordPress and we can go ahead and make the installation. Now, the easiest way is to just click on install a brand new version. When you do, you'll be given a choice here to go ahead and set it up. And of course, we see the domain that we just purchased. We've got the default site title. And now you also have a choice here of clicking on this link to display the advanced options. And in this case, my advice is to say, don't use the default admin because that's the sort of thing that comes with every installation of WordPress and you're just giving bad guys a 50% head start on uh, making trouble. So instead, choose something that works for you uh, that's different. So I'll try something like 1WD and the password's fine. And now I can also uncheck these other options here because we don't need to put those plugins in. Once we say, I have read the terms and conditions, I can complete the install. Once you're uh, at this point, you'll see that the little spinning wheel will tell you the status and it takes maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. And now we're done. Once it's completed, it'll give you the site URL as well as the login to the admin dashboard and it'll also give your password. So I'm gonna copy this password and now I'm gonna click on the link to go to the dashboard, open it in a new tab. And now we can log in. If you want, you can save it in your browser. So at this stage, we're gonna go ahead and get you set up with um, your responsive theme. Now out of the box, WordPress at 3.5 comes with a default theme called 2012. We're gonna show you how to install the new responsive theme by theme ID because that's the basis for all of what we're gonna do in our tutorial videos. So you're gonna go under appearance themes. You'll see here that 2012 is installed and we're gonna click on install themes where we can then type in the word responsive. Doesn't matter if it's capital. Click on search. And what you'll see is the first choice should be responsive by Emil Uzalak. Go ahead and install that now by clicking that link. And now you can activate it. Now at this stage, we have the parent theme installed and activated and we can make our first blog post. In our, another, in our later videos, I'm gonna show you how to install our child theme that will enable all kinds of additional features. But for now, let's have some fun and make a new post. First thing we do is go to posts, add new. And here we can title it anything we want. My first blog post. And now we've got our text editor. I'm gonna show you more how to use this, but basically we have a visual editor or using HTML. Visual is easy, so I'll say, I'm so excited to be using WordPress. And if we want, we can immediately publish that by clicking the blue publish button. And there's a link here that says view posts. We can open this in a new tab. And now we have got our first blog post. Now, this is the basics of how to get rocking and rolling. And from this point forward, I'm gonna show you all kinds of cool stuff on how to add images, how to improve your site's appearance, change the theme, and much, much more. We're looking forward to seeing you back here at First Web Designer and our new First Web Designer TV channel. This is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.